Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. Well, final sales figures are out for tractor sales for 2023. We're going to look at what they tell us about the market, where it's going, what it means for you. Let's get started. Well, these numbers are the final numbers for the year 2023 from the Association of Equipment Manufacturers, and we'd like to thank them for allowing us to use these numbers. And in order to really get meaning out of this report, you've got to go back and look at what happened before COVID, during COVID, and after COVID. And let's start with the under 40 horsepower market. Now they call this a two-wheel drive market, but what they class as a four-wheel drive vehicle is an articulated tractor, one of the big farming tractors. So this is under 40 horsepower, two and four-wheel drive, all tractors sold, all brands. If you look at the sales figures in a graph from 2019, the last year before COVID, through 2023 this past year, I would say we're getting back to normal. And what happened in COVID was a lot of folks moved out to the country. They weren't able to go on vacations. They had money. They needed tractors and inventory went down because of supply chain disruptions. Demand went up. It became a seller's market. People paid high prices for tractors. If they wanted them, they had to to get them. And now we're getting back to normal. What normally goes on in the under 40 horsepower market, if the general economy is doing well, people buy the tractors. And if it's doing poorly, they quit buying. And what happens is people move out to the country, they buy a little 20 acre plot like what we have, they build a house out there, move out to the country, and then about a year later their Craftsman lawnmower blows up and they're looking for a compact tractor. And so what we saw in 2019 was a normal market. It had been growing gradually. Uh, about the only down year I remember in there is 2007, 2008 in the banking crisis, but the market was growing at a steady pace and inventory levels were what I would call normal. Well, then COVID hit. Everybody started moving out to the country. They quit going on vacation. They had money to spend and the demand went way up and supply chain disruptions caused the supply to go way down. It was a seller's market. Well, now here's where we are now, and I'm going to compare 2023 with 2019, the last year before COVID, and you'll see that our sales are actually down a little bit from 2019. All, and, and you got to factor in the big spikes we had in 2020, 2021, and 2022. So our, our, our sales are down a little bit. Our inventory is also down a little bit from 2019. So we're kind of back to what I would call a normal market. And in normal times, if you're trying to negotiate a tractor, you've got a little bit of leverage there, especially this time of year when it's cold and the salespeople are sitting around the fire, it's a good time to buy a tractor. Well, now let's move on to the 40 to 100 horsepower market. And uh, we got something going on there that may be advantageous to the buyer. If you go back and look at what happened from 2019 through 2023, you'll see that it kind of followed the COVID market too. The demand went up, supply went down, and when you compare where we were in 2023 with 2019, we've seen a 3% increase in sales. We've also seen a 13% increase in inventory. There's starting to be a little inventory glump up on dealers' lots. Now, I've been a dealer before, and I've been a territory rep for a farm equipment company, and I can tell you, uh, when there's inventory sitting around, dealers have to start paying interest on it, and they don't like that. And so if they've got too much inventory, it sure makes you have a better position if you're buying. It makes them want to negotiate more. So we're headed to that market, especially in the 40 to 100 horsepower range. Well, now let's look at the over 100 horsepower tractor market. And it's more impacted by things like cattle prices and dairy prices and corn and crop prices than it is by COVID. And you'll see in this graph right here, uh, COVID had very little impact on it. If you look at the over 100 horsepower market, I'm going to compare it to 2022 uh, since COVID didn't have much of an impact. Our sales figures in 2023 were up 5% from 2022. Our inventory is up 38% from 2022. And these are a little bit bigger tractors. They're starting to get into some big money. If the dealers are paying interest on them, they sure want to get rid of them. I think what happened with the COVID uh, supply disruptions is the market, of course, there, there was limited supply. And then when the tractors came in, they all came in at once. And we've got kind of a little bit of a glut of inventory right now. 
in the over 100 horsepower market. So now let's look at the big tractor market, the articulated tractors and combines, and what's happened there. Uh, commodity prices were fairly low back in 2020. Uh, corn prices, I think, down around that time were in the three mid three dollar a bushel range. Uh, in 2022, after the Ukraine war broke out, that all surged. Uh, corn prices got up over seven bucks uh, a bushel, and uh, last year they fell. And they're down below six dollars a bushel right now, and, and and even lower in spots. So we're seeing the commodity prices soften considerably. The articulated tractor market was on fire when crop prices were high. In 2023, we saw sales up 32 percent from 2022, and inventory was way low over COVID, but it's caught up a little bit, and it's up 30 percent from last year. Finally, let's look at the combine market. As crop prices have been good, it's been strong as well. It was really, really good in 2023, but look here what's happening with inventory. And you want to get a dealer's attention, have a bunch of combines on his lot he's paying interest on, and uh, all of a sudden that becomes a buyer's market. So in the uh, bigger tractors where we're at, uh, I think we've probably seen the peak in demand for them. The supplies are catching up, and uh, who knows where commodity prices are going to go. But uh, there's starting to be a little too much inventory there, and I think you're going to see some deals if you're a, a true farmer and you buy your stuff to make a living with. So that's where we are. Now, uh, I just wanted to talk with you. I, I've been doing these reports uh, about once a quarter. And if you're still with me, uh, you probably, you're probably a tractor geek like I am, or you're thinking about buying a tractor or you're a real farmer. Uh, do you want to continue to see these reports? Uh, put it in the comments down below because we're just about back to normal on supplies of tractors uh, under 40 horsepower and 40 to 100. And so the need for these reports is, is probably less and the bigger tractors kind of follow the commodity market. So if you want to see them, let me know. I'll probably do one at mid-year and then one at the end of the year and let it be good at that. But if I see that the supplies are really coming up, because that means it's a buyer's market for you, uh, I'll break in and do a report. But put that in the comments down below. How often would you like to see these numbers reported? Appreciate you watching my videos. Here's a couple others you might want to watch and uh, links to my website and a place to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.